Hi, Bukaki. Uh, get to the damn secret lair. <laughs> he doesn't even want to hear about it. I'm surprised know, he's even here. Uh, this is his least favorite thing that we yeah, do. I know. And he it's... wanted us to switch our name to Secret Layer Smith, <laughs> which has a little bit more alliteration. Yeah, I get that. Uh, uh, beers tonight. Uh, Scott, yes, I am drinking two nuts. <laughs> it's, it's two guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two nuts. It's a lupulin. I know uh, Ibukaki's doesn't like that place as much but that's a local I'm, one i get it i, I I'm like with, it i'm with him on that too i a like it has like a flavor i don't like in it well this is a brown ale i really actually dig this one a lot no, i i think it's either in their cleaning process or their water i can tell it's just a it's a thing i don't like so <laughs> i dig their flavors so screw both of you their flavors <laughs> are good i'm just saying their base there's something there that i don't like they and don't some like. companies are like that so <laughs> Um, all secret right. Smiths. All right, all right. So we hit the. It's a secret. All right. So did you uh, already did that? Yeah, I already right. did. Yeah. I all right. Did. Secret layer. Doctor Who regeneration foil edition, non-foil edition, foil edition's fifty, and the non-foil is it's forty. Lord. Okay. Can I can I pause really quick? Normally, no, I'm on a roll. <laughs> normally, with uh, secret layers, we do a break point. We're not doing a break point here because these are all new cards. So this is going to be a little bit different than normal. At the end, we're just going to kind of tell you, is it worth it or not in our opinions? Um, but we're just going to kind of, that, that's how we're going to run this. So I mean, it's a, it's yeah. a little, we'll, we can discuss that at the end. Yeah. Sure. It, it's a little bit different than our normal secret layer breakdown where you have cards that are all, you know, it's all normally it's re uh, reprints. Uh, you do get these occasional, Dungeons and Dragons, Street Fighter, Stranger Things, Walking Dead. Those are all new cards. So this is following that line. All right. So let's mm -hmm. get to it. Let's talk about the cards. Let's uh, discuss what's all in this stuff. So let's let's get going here. All right. First one that we're going to talk about is Rose Noble. Three and a blue, two, three human. It has Ward 2. And whenever you cast a Doctor spell or creature spell with Doctor's Companion, you draw a card. It is a Doctor's Companion. Um, So you can partner it with whatever doctor you want uh very um, very specific how do, how do we to, feel about this yeah uh, yeah i guess let's do each card because this is very different than the other stuff we're doing yeah. um i mid <laughs> i don't okay i i like the the building on the the doctor who stuff we had the doctor who commander decks and all that stuff but if mm -hmm. that's all we're dealing with this is not gonna be good you know you're you're it's only fitting. there's not enough yeah it's only fitting in the Doctor Who stuff. If we don't have mm -hmm. more Doctor Who stuff, which I'm assuming they won't because they got to pay for the IP and all that stuff. Right. Um, and also, I mean, I guess this is going to apply to a lot of the cards that we go. I treated this like a normal secret layer and didn't do any research or thinking or reading beforehand. <laughs> so apologies. This is, your, this is your episode that this is your right. favorite uh, I thought episode I could relax where you don't need all, to actually do anything. <laughs> Son of a gun. But it, it basically, if you're not into the Doctor Who stuff, like there isn't, to my limited knowledge, I feel like they did a full on Doctor Who. They covered all the episodes or every season. They did sagas. They got all the doctors in there. There aren't going to be other doctors added unless it's another season. So unless we get like a five card secret layer per season. But I don't this, see them coming this back. Isn't, it's not going to grow. So. I think they paid right. for the the IP to do yep. the decks, and then this would have came out. I, I would assume would have came out with the super drop that we just had, but because the episodes hadn't been released yet, uh, they mm -hmm. just got released this week or whatever. Um, they had to wait on this one coming yeah. out with the other the the super drop that we just did two weeks ago or whatever. So yeah. Uh, that that's where I think we're at with this. I don't think they're going to come back to it. I don't think they're going to come back to Street Fighter. I don't think they're going to come back to Stranger Things. They right. paid for it. I think it's a one-time thing, and that's the hard part about this. If if this was a continuous thing where you're making Doctors and Doctors Companions, this would be a good card. Whenever you play a Doctor or a Doctors Companion, you draw a card. Sure, that's good, but with what we're dealing with, it's only going to be good with the decks that we have. We're going to have right. one more of those in this that's specific to doctors then there's three that are whatever could be used in yeah. other decks all right yep uh next one is going to be the meep it's two and a black oh four alien as ward pay three life 
And then whenever the Meep attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, creatures you control have base power and toughness XX until end of turn, where X is the sacrifice creature's mana value. <coughs> this one at least can be played in right. it can, other... But can it? I mean... Yeah, why can't it? I mean, it can, but the thing is, is like... Right away, you think token deck. Like, I'm like, oh, okay, token deck would be great. You have a bunch of tokens. You're sacrificing a token, and you're thinking base power and toughness, but it's off of its mono value. So you can't sacrifice a token because then its mono value is zero, so you just annihilate your whole entire board. Um, so it, right. it's, it's weird because then it's like you're sacrificing something for a lot of mana that you it costs a lot to get out, and then you're sacrificing I, it? Like that, I like the meat. I don't okay how about this you are token based but then you have some bigger creatures that come along with it you cast that big creature attack sacrifice it all of your tokens that are one ones turn into eight eights sure for one turn but i mean like but i mean that's the game ender but you're kind of comboing it a little bit all i'm saying is this isn't parasitic you're going to be able to put this into a deck if you feel like it's going to work there. Right, right. But but uh, it's I guess, not a doctor deck or an evil right, alien. Right. That is that is a good that that's is all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's, it's very playable. I'm just saying you we can I'm we just, can have it as an option. Right. I guess my point is is like where does it fit? Because it doesn't fit oh, in my I don't my, care about that. It's just <laughs> It can be, it can work. But you know what I'm saying is like a Tesa deck, like Tesa Carla. Like, are you, that's a token typically deck. You don't, you aren't wanting to set. I'd, I'd much rather have the, uh, the change lane that is, you know, it's white, but you're tapping X. You got to pay the mana. Yeah. But then you're paying the mana to get that creature out anyways. Like you're paying the same amount of mana, but then you aren't right. losing it. You just pay I'm, mana and you're, it, this I'm is not all here to fight about this card. Like, I don't <laughs> love it. It's, I know, but it's it is a card it's that playable. we can play it's with. Yes, it's yes. not a doctor card. Right, right. That's it's, all I'm saying. Yeah, right. That's, it's this is the only one that I don't like, hate it. Yeah, but I don't like it. <laughs> I liked it at first until I read that it was like it dawned on me the that CMC, it's CMC, yeah, the power yeah, yeah, or yeah. That if it was power, then yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah, put those in token decks all over the place. But yeah, okay. Right, next card. Let's go to the this one. Then? All right. Next one we want to talk about is the Celestial Toymaker. A white and a blue and a black for 2-4. You have your Neil Patrick Harris. There you go. He is a rogue artificer. Oh, man, this one's, this <laughs> one's a lot of words. Whenever the, ses- want, whenever the toy maker attacks, <laughs> uh, look at the top three cards of your deck. Exile any number of them on a face-down pile and the rest in a face-up pile. Defending player chooses one of those piles, put that pile into your hand. So it's kind of like a factor fiction effect of three, not four. Um, and then at the beginning of each end step, each opponent loses two life for each spell or ability that caused one or more players to guess or to group cards or permanents into a pile this turn. So you have a guessing uh, group card commander. <laughs> yep. I don't know how many cards there are that <laughs> yeah. do. There's a there's kind of a lot of little. Let me read that. All right, causes one or more players to guess or to group cards or permanents into piles this turn. You know how we've been needing this kind of commander, a guessing and grouping. Com- I don't know, <laughs> but this again, this can be played as a magic card. Right, and it doesn't this have is, to rely on. This is a different. Doctors. It's a, yeah, exactly. That's what I like about it. That's exactly what I wrote in my notes. Is that it's a, it? It's a different commander. It, it. I don't know if there's enough right, like stuff to use with this. There's so there's there's some. Well, you just Older said cards. factor fiction kind of thing. Yeah, you know? there's factor fiction. And there's a couple of newer versions that are worse than that. But uh, the other thing is there's there's like a card called like do or die. I can't remember. I want to say it's like apocalypse era, torment, mm. judgment, something like that. And basically um, like the black one, there's, there's one of every color and they group them and then one survives, one dies or one comes back and one is like, they, that's a grouping part. And that's kind of fun. There is uh, um, actually from the, the Doctor Who commander decks. I played it. I don't remember exactly what it does, but I remember that you have to 
write down a number because number two guessed my number and they guess the number and if they get it wrong then something happens if you get it right then the it fizzles or it dies or whatever and he guessed mm -hmm. it right the first time you can't keep choosing the same number so each turn they have to guess again so that's oh, another thing that yeah. feeds into it um so the guessing part that's kind of i mean it seems like a different deck it just feels like you're going to have to play basically every card that does those things right but he does it doesn't just trigger on an etb because it doesn't even do that it is only on attack so <coughs> it doesn't have an evasion so you're gonna have to figure out who's open and the nice thing is um it does hit every player for the two life loss i don't think you're banking on killing people oh. that way but it hits every single player uh, i will say the part that kind of stinks is if you do it more than once in a turn it only does it once, you know, it's one or more. So you aren't able to stack it, right. but you can do it on other people's turns, which which is really nice. You're getting some, uh, there's some people making some suggestions here. <laughs> yeah, so Mad Dog's saying that murders at Karlov Manor um, could have a lot of grouping or guessing cards. So new, there's a clue magic mm. game that's gonna be coming out. That is, that is. Uh... So that is what he's referencing. Um, so there could be, stuff the both of that is captain guessing and captain groups. yates said uh there's only six cards in esper that have the word guess on it <laughs> yeah so using them not, all not a lot. i wouldn't spec on it yeah. don't spec on it if you're <laughs> that's enough for a theme no nope. <laughs> no nope. so guessing isn't going to be the best it's i think it's going to be grouping and you might not have many there either yeah um it it's going to be... be factor fiction fiction type cards I mean, I mean, maybe the, 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 the angle of this is not even playing it as the commander as a theme, more of you're not Voltroning, but you're using this guy to give you card advantage. I don't know what you turn it into. Maybe it's something else that's your theme, but you're attacking. You're getting a card advantage. You're attacking with him. You're making two piles. Somebody's choosing one. They lose two. Everybody loses two life. That's side you know that's not even a big deal but you are getting card advantage you're putting probably one face down and <clears> two <throat> face up and then they go well i don't know what that face down one is you can take the two you know no. so you do get some card advantage i don't know if you build a deck around it but maybe. right i think what maybe what the word that we want to say instead of group maybe pile because what is yeah face up pile face down pile so if you scryfall pile for esper let me know how many are in that. Let's not wait for that, but we'll... Uh, yeah, yeah we'll, no, we don't have to wait. No, yeah, just silence <laughs> is the sound you hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's move on to the next one. This one is going to be a doctor card. Oh, I am frozen. You see that? Oh, oh, no. I went, oh. Oh, I went to Frozen with my daughter this Aww, weekend. Brought cute. them to... There was people, you know, dressed up like Frozen. A 70-minute wait. It was fucking. Oh yeah, hot. yeah. You saw. I saw that. Wow, I was sure. <laughs> cold. Um, it was terrible. All right, the fourteenth doctor. You have a um, hybrid red green, and then a true white or blue three four time lord doctor. Uh, and then when you cast the spell, reveal the top fourteen cards of your deck. Put all doctor cards revealed this way into your graveyard and the rest on the bottom of your deck in a random order. You may have the 14th Doctor enter the battlefield as a copy of a Doctor card in your yard uh, that was put there from your deck this turn. If you do, it gains haste until end of turn. It's a lot. I mean, it works with the Doctor decks. It's, it's the Doctor Commander? Like, it's going to include all of your Doctors. Yep. Uh, except That's for what black. you're doing. You're missing black is the only thing. There's, but... uh, black is not doctors. Oh, I know. There's no It'd doctors the... in black. There, um, there is a companion, I think, but not doctors. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't think there's any doctors. Yep. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Ha. You like uh? I you was like frozen, doctors. waiting in line for Frozen. I gotta go back to it. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> All right, so this one is uh, the other one that is a doctor specific card. So, uh, yeah, so we uh, this is your your big guy for that. This is what did a uh, Cole? Oh, that's Mad Dad. Mm -hmm. I thought Cole said something there. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cole Cole said that <coughs> this has been a, a common 
commander configuration of the all four color thing. Mm. Black. Yeah. All right. Is this the last one? Yep. <clears throat> all right. The f the fifteenth Doctor. What? Is, what? I don't know who this actor is at all. It's two a red and a blue for a three three Time Lord Doctor. Whenever the fifteenth Doctor enters the battlefield or attacks, mill three cards. You may put an artifact card with mana value two or three from among them into your hand. The first non-artifact spell you cast each turn has improvise. I like this card a mm. lot. This is a good commander. As a non-doctor card. Right. This is a good commander. Good uh, for spell spl slinging. I would say a mix of artifact and non-artifact. The nice <laughs> thing is it's not like a... Uh, the, the improvise is for just non-artifact spells. It's not for a permanent, you know, like it's for any right. spell. So you can be a spell slinging. It's in the, the right colors for spell slinging. Um, this one is probably the best one for use in multiple decks or it being a commander by itself. Um, right. I dig this one a lot. This is probably my favorite one out of the, the bunch, but is it going to be worth a lot? I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. What was it? Meow. Well, okay. So we kind of like this one. Um, Should we? I think I think the doctor specific cards, like I get them, but they don't necessarily interest me. I like the other. I like the two. I like the toy maker guy, and I like the fifteenth doctor. They seem cool. <coughs> um, here, here's a thing that I don't know if you've thought about, but are they going to put this in the universes not the universes beyond but are they into like the new cards that are magic related how do you do that with doctor cards so street fighter did it stranger things did it D D and walking dead didn't do it so walking I, dead did it did they yep that's relatively oh new yeah yep year. that is right yep 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 they did so they did so change the, the uh, uh, right. movie hasn't D and D hasn't done D &D it. D and D hasn't done it. Yep. Uh, you're right. Walking dead was just recent. Cause then they had the, uh, the different equipment name for whatever that was. Yeah. Um, so, so they're going to do word for word. That that's what it's going to be do. doctors. Yeah. But I, I don't know if they're going to do it for everything. I mean, they I didn't, think they said they were going to do it for, for everything, everything so that, yeah. So that the secret layer stuff wasn't, but aren't, aren't we losing the, the list kind of stuff at this point? They're changing the packs around. Does it have list cards still? Yeah, the list still exists. It's They're still changing exists. the list around as well. Okay. So maybe it does get in there. But it's going to say doctor. Oh. I mean, that's it has to say doctor. Really, unless... Right. The mechanics don't change. It's just the name of the card. And so how... like That, that part doesn't make a whole ton of sense. Maybe they hope that they we forget that they said that <laughs> all right let, let, let's break down the because uh, i don't know I don't what's know. About that that seems <laughs> there's a couple notes uh there will be a bonus card and it will have something to do with doctor who like every single well, one of these that's true every single one of these has had uh you know dungeons dragons had the uh the fat lazy dragon which was awesome Street Fighter had a uh, lightning bolt, which was Hadouken. <clears throat> Stranger Things was the the laboratory flipping land or whatever. The Walking Dead was the equipment uh, Lucille. So they yeah. will have something that is related to Doctor Who. This is by far the least amount of cards we've gotten. D&D uh, &D had six cards. Street Fighter had eight. Stranger Things had nine. The Walking Dead had 11 if you count all the different tokens, uh, the, the zombie tokens and all that. Um, yeah. there in this, I think there's only two decent commanders. If you're trying to say like not Doctor Who related, and then one semi usable card that isn't a commander, and then you got two just Doctor cards. So this one right. is the most exclusive to Doc, like of what it's from I, than yeah, any I of would the say other parasitic. Doctors. Yeah, like it feeds off of itself, and it doesn't really allow itself to be in a game of magic unless you're in the doctor who decks I, right. and i do find that problematic yeah so here, here give you an idea of everything D D. this is by far the best one like that one was crazy yeah. good uh and i'm only going for sealed stuff i'm not break i didn't break down everything single wise 
But D and D has six cards in it that are all usable in all deck, like decks all over the mm -hmm. place. Like those cards are, I'm almost sold out. I'm almost done. I bought so many of those and they're almost all gone at this point. That right now for non foil is selling for one hundred and thirteen dollars. Foil is okay. one hundred and twenty five. So those were the same price. All these are the same price, $50 and $40. The other one that's different is Walking Dead only came in foil. So there's there's no non-foil printing of that. Uh, Street Fighter is probably our worst one. Uh, yeah. That one, non-foils are at 49 You can buy sealed now on 58 So really, you didn't make much. Like, that one, the, the biggest thing there is no. the, the the lightning bolt stuff. The 15th wasn't in the set. It was the 15th Doctor was just revealed yep. on the show in the last week. And so they held off on this to not spoil stuff along with the other Neil Patrick Harris card. Yep. Um, I don't know <laughs> about the other three, but I know those two would have been like a reveal for the show. Right. And so they they held off on that part. Yep. Uh, okay, and then we get into Stranger Things. Stranger Things had partner commanders, which was kind of unique and a little bit different. You know, they're partner to each other, like when they specifically call yeah. out the other one. Yeah. That one, uh, non-foil 75, 80 for the foils. Uh, at this point, you can buy sealed. So that one's, yeah, you could make some money off of that one. Walking Dead, surprisingly, is that only at 75? Um, I don't know if that's because I mean, of... It's all in the one card. Right. The Rick... Rick, Rick is yep. uh, steadfast leader or whatever. I think that is the big one there. But yeah, 75 bucks for for those at this I'm point. Um, this one? I don't know, man. I mean, should I hit the button? Should we, we Should we figure out, is this one worth it? Let's do it. Let's hit the... Uh, I made the button. I, I mean, you made the button. On, Let's hit the button. I spent time on it. Uh, you we did, got, you we did got a great it. job. Right. I love right. it. <laughs> it's time for... Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. What do you think, Larry? If you think it's worth I, it... I think I this... forgot my coloring in the background. If you think it's worth it, this is color. what you'll hear. I didn't if, hear anything. You didn't hear that? Hear it again. You can't hear that? That's some Ursher. Or if it, if it isn't worth it, I hope you can hear this button. The price is wrong. Uh, the price is wrong. Do hear that one. All right. So yeah. uh, I know where I'm at with this one. Where are you with this one? I don't know. Um, wow. I don't think. <clears throat> well, because because of D&D. &D. If D&D &D did not exist, I think it'd be a no. But. Those cards are really, they All were really fun of and them unique. are playable yeah. though, like in right. well, different decks, you know? Um, I, do I, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I don't know if I like the red one. The black one's cool. Red, blue one's cool. Green one's cool. Um, Blue one's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think red one's probably the only one that's. Like, yeah, that one's mediocre. Not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're all like um, you can see them in decks, you know, yeah, kind of like the yeah. meep in this one. You can see that in a deck. At at fifty and forty, I think it's a hard sell. So you're uh, this so is where I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no, but it's close. Oh, I'm the price is wrong. I'm totally the price is wrong on this one. I I, I think the toy maker card just isn't. It's unique, but doesn't have enough support. So I think the 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 only way I buy this one is if I combine it with buying of the from the current secret layer. So this one's still going on for 27 days. The current uh, super drop. Let me back this up really quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. That's <clears throat> what. What? This doesn't release until April second. I know it doesn't come out. It doesn't like that's ship. a problem. Yes, right. That's the big problem. You can't. You don't know what the bonus cards are. You don't. Or, like maybe the bonus card makes it all worthwhile, but you're not going to see it for months. Um, months and months. So that one's. This one's going on for 27 days. The secret versary <laughs> is only another 15 days at this point. Okay. Um, but they are allowing for you to get the Locust God if you buy, if you spend over $200 with this. So if you combine it with the, the whoops, I didn't mean to go that way. If you combine it with like, if you're, if you bought the current secret layer, 
how that's going on. Maybe I throw it in there. If I buy some more of that, maybe I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll throw 50. But I, there's no way in hell I am, I'm specking on it. Like, yeah, this these might go up in price because no one's going to buy it. And that's what's the weird but that's thing about a bad secret, way to spec. Yeah, that, that's, a, a, that's a weird thing about secret layers is like if they're bad, sometimes they go way up because of limited inventory out there. Uh, I do not want to do that. I want to buy cards that are highly usable. Uh, I would much rather buy the the Galaxy, or not Galaxy, what is it? Is it Galaxy Foils? What is the, no, they're Surge, no, they're Galaxy Foils of the current Secret Layer Super Drop than buy this, you know, for the same price. Right. Would you rather spend $50 right. on, which we now know uh, Solemn Sim Simulacrum is the other card that's in the, the wormhole. Mm -hmm. They're the same price, $50 for that of cards that you know are, completely highly used You're using in, them all yeah or would you buy five brand new cards that two of them are only for doctor decks and the other ones are mediocre at best oh so, i don't know i don't know if the two legends are mediocre at best i'd have to look and see the group and guessing obviously is not going to work very well but i yeah you're probably right it's i think the hope is buy singles and hope that they're under 10. Yeah. I mean, they might not be, like I said, if no one buys this besides the Doctor Who fans, they're only keeping in their collection, so there really isn't going to be much on the market. It, if, if, if you're wanting to, as you can see, as I said before, <clears throat> when you're doing the foil and the non-foil and keeping them sealed, there isn't a big difference between the two. So if you're wanting to spend the money, maybe just go with the, the non-foils and try to sell the the sealed stuff later if maybe no one buys this and it doubles up but that's not the way to go i mean the D, &D yeah. the reason why that one is that one's the most recent and that is the most by far the most expensive uh out of all of them and it's because they're all mm -hmm. usable cards you look at this and it's like okay meep you can probably find a home there uh we got the 15th doctor that's a good spell slinger and then we have the piles one and it's like are you gonna build a deck around that? <laughs> right, right. I, I mean, again, if you like the show, I think it's a fine buy. Right. You know, um, if you want to build a doctor deck, I think it's a fine buy. But as a spec, no. Yeah. As in, like, am I going to get it? No. I'm not. I'm not gonna get it. I, I think I'm gonna try. I like the red blue fifteenth doctor, um, and I like the idea of the toy maker card. I wouldn't buy Meep, mm. and I wouldn't get the other two. Yeah. Unless I'm going to do that Dr. Deck, which I'm not. Yeah. So uh, I think our conclusion is... The price is wrong, <laughs> Right. <laughs>